Emmanuel P. writes, great show, keep up the good work. My question is about Deadpool. Can you explain to me why the R rating is such a big deal? Expendables and Expendables 2 were both R rated, had less than $100 million budgets, and made $250 million in the box office. I think the problem is the studio is looking at Deadpool like a superhero movie, where it should be more of a comic book movie. In terms of a comic book movie, 300 was R rated, also on a smaller budget and did $400 million. Why can Deadpool simply be marketed as the crazy awesome guy movie it's supposed to be couldn't it achieve a similar success of these other three and seem to have the r rated guy movie formula down a uh, great question <laughs> a lot of us have been waiting a very long time to see deadpool nobody more than ryan reynolds ryan reynolds has been championing this movie for a long time he wants to get this made and it has we all agree it's got to be r rated mm -hmm. you, if you're not going to do deadpool rated r don't bother doing it. it's got to be r rated but you raise a couple of films as examples that I, what I call the examples uh, or the exception argument. And here's what I mean. First of all, you mentioned The Expendables. Well, The Expendables is a little bit different because The Expendables is geared and was targeted at and was marketed to people who grew up watching the 80s and 90s action films. They're targeting people, guys who are 30 and 40 and 50 years old. That's who that was marketing and that's who that's going after. That's a different market than the Deadpool market. Uh, it's not the same people. It's a lot younger people that are going to try to get to Deadpool. And if you're, when you're targeting younger, it's difficult to make marketing su and successfully franchise R-rated films. It's very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Hollywood has proved over and over and over again, R-rated films do not make as much money. There are exceptions. And here comes the exception argument, okay? It's like saying um, to people, all right, if you want, let's, let's use a, a basketball analogy, all right? Um, and I'm not a big basketball fan, but it's like saying, hey, that player has the ball at half court. He's 100 feet from the basket, but he's got, he should take a shot from half court. No, that's stupid. He'll miss. <laughs> and then what the person doing the exception argument will say to me is like, no, remember last year in game four of whatever playoffs, guy took a shot from half court and made it. And remember also this other guy took a shot from half court and made it. So see, it can happen. Well, yeah, but there's a thousand other shots taken from half court that miss. You're talking about the exceptions and using it as your argument. I get into this with, with people all the time. I say, look, such and such a movie doesn't work or this type of movie doesn't work or, or whatever. And somebody will always come up with the exception. They'll say the exception. Oh, I'll say TV, big TV stars who started their career as big, famous TV stars have a very difficult time transitioning to becoming recognizable movie stars. And people go, no, that's wrong because look at George Clooney. <laughs> it's like, okay, yes, I can name you about 20 of them too who were legitimate big TV stars and started out that way. But that's 20 over 40 years. That's 20 out of the thousand who have tried. And so I get really frustrated when people make the exception argument. And I know that's not what you're trying to do. You're just pointing out an example and I get that. Um, I think there's a possibility Deadpool could be successful. Like 300, three, you brought up 300, that's a better example than, than Expendables. I think it's possible, but you also gotta recognize and at least appreciate why the studios are hesitant and why the studios wanna be careful because it's not often that a younger targeted R-rated movie can make tons of money. And if you're doing Deadpool, they're targeting lots and lots of money. So while I think it can work, you and I as fans have to at least understand why they're apprehensive about it. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.